expressionless. In the shadowy corners of the internet, there exists a spine-tingling narrative about a woman known as the Expressionless. This unsettling tale originally surfaced on Creepypasta but swiftly took on a life of its own, spreading like a digital specter across social media sites and forums. It is a macabre chronicle, seemingly presented as a haunting first-person testimony from a survivor of a nightmarish and enigmatic massacre that unfolded at Cedars Sinai Hospital in Los Angeles, all the way back in the ominous year of 1972. It is not just the tale of bloodshed and terror that makes the expressionless story a haunting enigma. It's the presence of a woman who stepped into that hospital with a visage entirely devoid of human emotion. Her blank, mannequin-like face make it look as if the very essence of her soul had been cloaked in an eerie shroud of nothingness. But aside from the mysteries surrounding her appearance in odd ways, the bigger question about this viral story is, is the expressionless real or just another internet fiction? Let us look back to where it all began. Over a decade ago, a creepypasta user posted the story of the expressionless without even noting whether it is a true account or a fiction. From there, an alleged photo of the expressionless circulated on the internet, accompanied by an eerie tale. According to the story, it was June 1972 when an enigmatic figure materialized within the hallowed halls of Cedar sinai Hospital in Los Angeles, California. Cloaked in naught but a blood-drenched, white gown, her presence alone would not have typically elicited more than a passing glance. After all, hospitals are gathering places for the injured and ailing. Yet, a number of peculiarities sent witnesses into fits of retching and frantic flight. Her otherness was unmistakable. Her form bore an unsettling resemblance to that of a mannequin, yet her movements flowed with the grace and fluidity of a living being. Her visage, a study in porcelain perfection, lacked the natural contours of human eyebrows, instead smeared with layers of cosmetic artistry, rendering her visage an eerie simulacrum of human semblance. But aside from her uncanny look, the hospital staff's fear deepened for another reason, the woman was drenched in blood and bore numerous severe wounds across her body yet she displayed no indications of pain or distress. The staff grappled with the enigma of how someone could remain so composed and devoid of emotion despite such grievous injuries. Standing in front of the receptionist, the terrified staff who was trying to stay professional saw clearly a kitten clamped in her jaw so unnaturally tight that no teeth could be seen, and the blood was still squirting out over her gown and onto the floor. She then pulled it out of her mouth, tossed it aside and collapsed. Inside the hospital room, the staff members gazed in terror as the woman's grin expanded, appearing to stretch across her entire face. Zero. 
They grappled to restrain her as she writhed and resisted their efforts. And then, she shifted her emotionless gaze to the male doctor and performed an unexpected action. She smiled. Inside the woman's mouth, instead of human teeth, there were elongated, sharp spikes, too lengthy for her mouth to safely close. The female doctor shrieked in astonishment and released her grip upon seeing the woman smile. The male doctor locked eyes with her briefly before finally asking what she is. The enigmatic woman, positioned over the doctor, responded in a whisper, I am God, her smile revealing those long, pointed teeth. While the security team's approach down the hallway became audible, the woman remained unperturbed, casually cracking her neck as she drew nearer to the male doctor. She darted forward, sinking her teeth into the front of his throat, ripping out his jugular and letting him fall to the floor, gasping for air as he choked on his own blood. The woman eventually started killing the other people around her. Sharing her testimony, the female doctor called the woman the expressionless after the incident. There were no more reported sightings of her ever again. The Real Story Looking at the eerie photo accompanying the viral story of the expressionless, it's not surprising why so many people were frightened, sharing the story in different platforms. But is the photo really enough to prove the authenticity of the story? The answer is no. In fact, when you search for the image online, it bears the label student nurses with waxworks patient and was captured by Anthony Armstrong Jones, who held the title of Earl of Snowden at the time, back in 1968. Lord Snowden, an English photographer and filmmaker, featured this photograph in his 1972 book titled Assignments. In addition, no major news organization released an article about the Expressionless or the massacre that took place at the hospital. Later on, a short film inspired by the Expressionless was produced, showing a mysterious woman with teeth that are too long for her mouth to close and ended up biting doctors, staff, and security personnel. The expressionless story offers a captivating narrative that unfolds to reveal several intriguing lessons that can be drawn from its enigmatic tale. First and foremost, it highlights the profound and lasting impact of mystery and the unknown on the human imagination. The story's inherent ambiguity serves as a powerful storytelling tool, drawing in readers and listeners by leaving them with unanswered questions and a sense of unease. This underscores the age-old adage that what we don't know often captivates us more than what we do. It exemplifies the enduring appeal of urban legends and contemporary folklore in our culture. It's a testament to the timeless allure of mysterious and unsettling tales that capture our collective imagination and persist through generations. This aspect of the story encourages us to consider how myths and legends have always played a role in shaping cultural narratives and beliefs. On a more practical note, the story emphasizes the importance of critical thinking and skepticism in the face of sensational or mysterious stories. It reminds us to approach such narratives with a healthy dose of skepticism, to question their authenticity, and to seek out credible sources before accepting them as fact. In an era of rapid information dissemination, this lesson becomes particularly pertinent. 
the story underscores, as well, the significant role that visuals play in storytelling. The eerie photograph accompanying the narrative enhances its emotional impact, serving as a visual trigger for readers to conjure their own chilling interpretations. It's a reminder of how images have the power to evoke powerful emotions and enhance the storytelling experience. For writers and storytellers, the expressionless story offers a valuable lesson in the art of crafting compelling and suspenseful narratives. It highlights the enduring fascination with the mysterious and the macabre in human psychology and the art of building suspense and anticipation in storytelling. The story's online virality also showcases the immense power of the internet and social media in disseminating stories, whether they are true or fictional. It reminds us of the incredible reach and influence of digital platforms in shaping contemporary narratives and the ways in which stories can quickly capture the public's attention and imagination. Lastly, the expressionless story raises ethical considerations about the responsibility of content creators and the potential consequences of spreading false or sensationalized information. It prompts us to reflect on the ethics of storytelling in the digital age, emphasizing the importance of transparency, accuracy, and ethical conduct in sharing stories with the world. In summary, the expressionless story serves as a multifaceted exploration of the intricate nature of storytelling and its profound impact on society and culture. It reminds us of the enduring power of mystery, the significance of visuals, the allure of folklore, the importance of critical thinking, the art of storytelling, the influence of digital media, and the ethical dimensions of sharing stories. And with that, we have come to the end of our video. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. This is Ben saying, see you next time.